there's all of these conversations you have with people and they'll ask certain questions and then when you give your response, they will look at you like, like you're crazy. So I was talking to somebody and he asked me if I could date a stripper. And I said, no. No, I cannot date a stripper. There go my second girlfriend. Hey, baby. I could date my baby Cinnamon, though. <laughs> All right, so I feel as though the main reason why most dudes, including myself, wouldn't be able to date a shorty that, that work at a strip club would be trust. You know what I'm saying? It's a stigma, and I'm not saying it's right, that most joints that work at, at these bars and these clubs you know, they're, they're dots, they're hoes, they're harlots. She's a harlot, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't think that is necessarily the case. Like, just like you have good cops, you have bad cops, right? So I feel as though, just like you have joints who just come in there and dance, get their money and leave, you have joints that'll come in there and, you know, they'll do a little something strange for some change. You feel me? They'll do a little something strange for a little bit of extra change, trying to meet that quota. Like, me and my mans had went to the club one time. I ain't going to say what club it was. And he he got bread. He coughed us some extra bread. And, you know, one of them joints let him smack the cheeks in the back room. She took him to the VIP room, and he smacked them cheeks. Now, do we know she had a boyfriend? No. Do we know she was in any type of relationship? We had no idea. But the fact at how easily he was able to do that by simply offering her some some extra money, it raised it raised a red flag. You feel me? So I feel as though that's probably the main reason why most dudes wouldn't just off and be like, yo, you know what, man? I can't I can't date one of I can't date a stripper. Now for me, that's definitely one of the reasons. But also, and you got to think about it, right? That job, strippers are master manipulators. Like, I couldn't really mess with a joint that work at the strip club because I know she's a master manipulator. Like, she make her money off of manipulating men. Point blank, period. You make him feel special, he going to cough up more bread. So with me knowing that and me being in a relationship with you, I wouldn't know if you're manipulating me or if you turned it off. Like, did you, is it as soon as you clock out, are you going to turn it off? Like, do you 100% genuinely love me or are you just out here manipulating me to get what you want? Like, am I providing a certain service for you that you need right now? And you're fooling me by making me think that you love me. Like that's, for me, that's the biggest thing. I feel as though, and I've seen it, bro. I worked at the mall. I worked at the mall and it was like three joints in there. One worked at Onyx. One worked at, um, what's that joint? One worked at Onyx. One worked at Follies. And the other one worked at um, the most popular strip club out here, bro. Damn, I forgot the name of this shit. But yeah. And bro, Shorty never turned that off. Like, she used to bamboozle dudes into just doing any and everything, bro. And I used to sit there and I used to be like, yo, bro, like, come on, son. Like, really? Why, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? You feel me? Like, it was, she had a boyfriend too. I, I'm going to tell you, it was one of them. She had a boyfriend, right? And the one thing, I, the one thing I could say about dating a, a a stripper is that she used to take care of son. Like she used to, she used to take care of, the, she used to take care of him, bro. Like this was in 2011, 2012. So he had, he had a Camaro, she had a Camaro, and she paid for both of those. So. You feel me? The, the job, at, I don't even know why she worked at, at the mall. She really didn't need to because she had bread. But at the same token, she had dudes who was just so in love with her that they would just come up there and just bring her food or bring her money. And, you know, these is joints. Some of these joints 
they knew her from the club. And some of these joints, like, these are just customers that she just met while she was working at the mall. And they would just be, she would just manipulate the hell out of them, bro. I even seen her manipulate one of my coworkers into getting, like, some free cookies. Because I worked at a cookie spot at the time. She manipulated one of my coworkers to get him some free cookies. And I was just like, bro, do you ever turn this off? So that would be my main concern. Like, yo, is she manipulating me? Is she manipulating me? And to be honest with you, I feel as though if you worked at that job as, and you know what I'm saying, you worked at the booty club, there is no reason why you couldn't be successful in business. Because you already got one hurdle. You already jumped over one hurdle. You feel me? Like, you're not, you're not shy. You're not scared. You know what you want and you know how to go get it. You a go-getter. Point blank period. You can say what you want about these women, but they go get us, bro. They go get us. They gonna go get it. They ain't gonna come get it over here. <laughs> but they <laughs> they gonna they gonna go get it. So there's no reason why you can't talk your way into a good situation. To be honest, though, when you look when you look at a lot of the women that are successful out here, not a, not a lot. Let me not let me say that. But when you look at some of the women that are successful in Atlanta, a few of them used to be uh, exotic dancers. A few of them used to be exotic dancers. So now, to be real with you, you know, it's it's a skill that they honed. She honed a certain skill. I never really thought about that. I never thought about that. Oh, and the strip club I was trying to remember was Magic City. So one of the girls worked at Magic City, one worked at Follies, and one worked at Onyx. And they were they were really attractive. They were they were very attractive. And they were cool. Like once you got to talk to them, they were real cool. They wasn't stuck up. You know what I'm saying? They just understood the psychology of men. They understood the psychology of men. At the end of the day, a stripper is a psychologist. Remember that. The next time you go to the booty club and you want to spend your dollars, remember that she is a psychologist. Okay? A psychologist with the power to hypnotize because that booty gonna hypnotize you but when she speak to you and she say whatever it is she say to you she getting in your mind she getting in your head she got you open now mm. that's why I just go in that motherfucker and get my fish sandwich bro I go to strip club to get the fish sandwich and the wings I might spend a couple couple dollars on, on, on a dance, but really my main thing is just going up in there and get the food. Call me broke, call me whatever the hell you want, whatever. But I just go to the club to get the food. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else is nothing else matters but the food. I'm lying like hell. I'm lying like hell, bro. I go up in there, I spend my five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars getting lap dances get me right then I go home and and, and let my wife have it anyway 